Hi, I'm Tom and welcome to Alley Picked. I'm here working in my garage today where it's freezing. <sighs> Boy, do I hate the winter months here in the Midwest. I can only work for so long before my hands get too cold. Which, by the way, I want to show you this. This thing here is a rechargeable hand warmer. I can't believe how hot this thing actually gets. I bought it at the grocery store of all places for only 12 bucks. It lasts for a few hours. So it might give me a little extra working time before I've got to go in the house to warm up. But anyway, this is today's project. It's a piano bench that belongs to my church. It's broken here in the back. It's all rickety and the finish, it's all scratched up. So I plan to strip it down, see what the wood looks like. If it's good, I'm going to stain it, put some polyurethane on it. Otherwise, I'll paint it black again. Let's get to work. Which, by the way, means I work and you sit there and watch this fantastic video. While I'm taking this apart, let me give you a little historical background on this piano bench. It belongs to Mount Olive Church in the old Irving Park area of Chicago. It's been there for at least 30 years, sat on every week by Tony, our music director, whose music, by the way, you're listening to right now. Because this bench is broken in two places, I'm gonna need to take it completely apart. Even if it wasn't broken, I'd still take it apart in order to sand off all the paint. Some people might ask, why don't you use paint stripper first? If I'm gonna be sanding this thing anyway, I find it much easier just to use 80 grit sandpaper, strip off all the paint by sanding, and then I use a finer sandpaper all the way up to 220. I find it easier, quicker, and it makes less of a mess. This top is not solid wood, so I'm gonna to need to be careful when sanding it so that I don't sand through the top thin layer of veneer. Right off the bat, I see a difference between the wood used for the top and the lighter wood on the sides. This means that I'm gonna to have to stain the lighter woods to match the darker wood. I'll put some paint thinner on it, which is gonna give me a good idea of the color when I apply the finish. This really brings out the beautiful red grain in the wood. I bought some red mahogany oil-based wood stain for the legs and frame. I probably don't need to stain the lid, but what I'm going to do is lighten the mahogany stain by mixing it with some paint thinner and then applying that to the top. Wow, the wood grain on this lid is beautiful and it really pops. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Get yourself an Alley Pick shirt. Currently, four styles available. Be the envy of all your woodworking, salvaging, and picking friends. Get yours at www.simpletoncreation.com. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program. One of the two broken ends still had all the pieces. I can simply re-glue them. The other one, I'm gonna need to rebuild. I'll cut it flat and then patch in a piece of oak. The bottom of the seat is bowed and cracked in the corner. I'm gonna to have to replace that using a quarter inch piece of plywood. It's thicker than the original, so I'm gonna to have to make the groove deeper. Now that the stain is dry, I can start to apply the finish. I'll first use a coat of shellac, sand it with 220 grit sandpaper, and then a couple coats of polyurethane. And now for a little final assembly piano music. Lastly, a coat of wax and this will be ready to go back into service. Man, this thing looks amazing now. Way better than how it started out. Broken in two places, scratched up, 
painted black and the inside panel was bowed and cracked. This thing now looks beautiful inside and out. I'm gonna take it over to the church now and surprise Tony, our music director. While Tony was away, I put the bench back where it belongs. When he returned for the Christmas service rehearsal, he was thrilled and very surprised. 